That's how I ended up restoring his Oliver 88 was because that was his tractor that he used. This is just a great way to have a little toy. This is my golf and everything else. That's how I met my wife was through uh, Grand Rally Tractors. It can be a rough old tractor in its work clothes, grease dripping all over it, but you can use it, have fun, enjoy it. That's what it's about. Funding for this program was provided by Friends, the Iowa Public Television Foundation. Generations of families and friends who feel passionate about the programs they watch on Iowa Public Television. Hello, I'm Mike Pearson. Welcome to Timeless Tractors, The Collectors. In this sea of tractors, I found my favorite color. The Minneapolis Moline G900 I use on my farm is a workhorse with that trademark reliable engine. Now, these mechanical beasts hold a special place, both in the history of agriculture and in the hearts of those who've lovingly restored them. Now, my Mini wears its work clothes. But these tractors have been transformed by Patrick Miller and his siblings into works of art. It's their way of telling the story how these machines revolutionized American agriculture. But it raises the question, why do men and women spend countless hours breathing life back into these engineering marvels? Right along with us as we explore the stories of hard work behind the people harvesting history. Timeless Tractors, The Collectors. Some would say that celebrating your past and remembering where you have come from is the cornerstone of growing up. Cherished mementos of times gone by serve as chapters in the story of how a person got to where they are today. For Kristen Gall, that treasure happens to be his grandfather's International 1206. And it was missing for almost a quarter century. When I started searching for this tractor, it was kind of a family thing. Uh, kind of, my grandpa had passed away several years before, and, and uh, I had a fascination with 1206s kind of muscle tractor look to them, just a little bit different than the other things, and, and they smoked like a freight train. And, and to a young boy, that's, that's pretty interesting stuff. Some of Gall's fondest memories on the farm were centered on that tractor, so he set out to find it. Hunting for Leonard Gall's tractor turned out to be more of a daunting task than Gall first anticipated. I knew the exact tractor if I ever found it, and I started searching, pestering everybody, you know, do you remember what happened to this tractor? And, and one guy says, well, yeah, he said, I kind of remember it was, uh, there was a guy come looked at it on the farm and he bought it, and it didn't even go to the lot when, he, when Grandpa traded it off. He bought it right at the farm. Long talks with family and neighbors, looking for clues as to who bought the tractor after it was traded in 1979, chasing lead after lead, a dealer who sold it to a farmer who sold it off in the farm crisis to a farmer in La Plata, Missouri, who put the old International to work. When the tractor developed a knock in the engine and the tractor was left for dead, traveling to its final resting place in a salvage yard 250 miles away. So I called the, that yard and, and uh, explained to him what I was doing. And, and at first, uh, you know, you kind of get the, uh, the typical junkyard guy uh, voice on the phone that uh, kind of gruff, doesn't really have time to mess with you kind of thing. But uh, he said, well, he, he said, if I've got it, he said, I, it's, odds are it's parted out and there's not anything left left of it. And, so I kind of dropped it at the time as, well, that's probably where it went, but it, nothing left of it. Gall still wanted proof serial number 14207 was gone for good. Well, a couple years passed, or 
I'd say one to two years passed and and I, I still had that urge to find it or at least put it to rest. If there was nothing left but a clutch housing, uh, then be it, you know, but I, I was happy to know where it was at and I could put it to rest. So I called back up there and this time a, uh, a young teenage boy that would just happen to be working for Ray uh, answered the phone and, and I explained to him what I was looking for and he kind of got a little excited. He said, you know, he said, there's a tractor out there that kind of fits that description. Uh, he said, I can run out there and take a look at that serial number and, and, and call you back and see if that's the one. Well, about a half an hour passed and he called back and he said, well, it's here. He said, that's the one. And boy, I, you know, I was wound up at that point. So Gall borrowed a trailer, called his brother and headed to Iowa. What they found wasn't much. The most popular items had been sold off, but the frame, engine, transmission, and cab remained. They loaded up what was left and headed for home. The disappointment about the tractor's current condition didn't last long. He had finally found the missing tractor and it was home. Then it was time to get to work. Buying a donor 1206 tractor for parts, Gall was all in for bringing his grandfather's 1206 back to life. Well, it didn't take as long as a person would think, because whenever I come home uh, with this tractor, I went at it like killing snakes. I, I was wound up and I wanted to get that thing running and uh, I just, I wanted to use it in the field the next spring. I didn't paint it for a show tractor. I painted it to use on the farm and, and just have a nice tractor. And Gall has received an unexpected return on his investment of time, blood, sweat, tears, and cash. Gall began to think about all the other collectors who were making the journey he had just finished. Could he help them? So he started an online registry just for international 1206 tractors. I've reunited several guys with the ones that they've lost. And uh, you can't imagine a, a 70 some year old man being just as excited as a schoolboy is when you say, uh, well, yeah, I know where that tractor's at. Uh, he gets excited and, and it just makes you feel like a million bucks. Tractor collecting doesn't have to be about a pretty tractor that you take to show. Uh, tractor collecting is something that you enjoy. It, it can be a rough old tractor in its work clothes, with grease dripping all over it, but you can use it, have fun, enjoy it. That's what it's about. You, you just gotta enjoy it.